Welcome back to a basic guide to understanding our reservation system. Today we will be creating and editing reservations. We will use the reservation calendar, which you should already be familiar with if you watched the previous video. The first thing you need to know is that the calendar is easy and interactive. You can click and drag to move reservations, or adjust the length of a reservation. You can also right-click on a reservation to bring up multiple actions that we will talk about later. You can also, of course, create new reservations. There are three ways to make a new reservation. By clicking and dragging in the calendar, by clicking the green icons to the top left of your screen, or by clicking the same icons in the reservation list. We recommend you make new reservations with the click-drag method. This way you can select the exact date and room for the reservation without having to enter them manually, which you have to do when using the green icons. There are two kinds of reservations, single and group. Group reservations can only be made by clicking this green icon, or by merging single reservations together by right-clicking. You can see the difference by clicking on a reservation. If it is a group reservation, all the rooms in the group will be highlighted. To single out a room, click again. This is important if you want to move just one room within a group reservation. You can also see the difference by hovering your mouse over a reservation. A single reservation will only have one column, with price, amount paid, and overall balance. A group reservation will have three columns, which shows charges to individual rooms, the group balance, and the total balance of the two. Now let's move inside a reservation, which we do by double-clicking in the calendar. The first thing you should notice are three tabs at the top. Reservation Detail, which contains guest information, notes, etc. Room Account, which we will cover in our next video. And Reservation History, which details any and all changes made to this reservation. Group reservations display this a little differently, with four tabs instead of three. But back to the details of a single reservation. From this screen, there are many things you can change. Changing the date will move the location of the reservation in the calendar. Changing the status will change the color of the reservation. There are eight to choose from, five of which are shown in the calendar. You can use them how you like, but we recommend you use them like this. Option in orange should indicate that you are waiting for payment. Confirmed in green indicates you have already confirmed the reservation and no further action is needed. Check-in in blue means your guest has arrived. Checked out in gray means your guest has left. And other in purple to use as a special designation however you see fit. These five statuses are visible in the calendar. There are three more which are not visible in the calendar and do not block their respective rooms for other bookings. These are waiting list, which are reservations waiting to be put in the calendar, canceled when a guest cancels before arrival, and no show when a guest simply does not show up. You can also change the room, where it shows you all available rooms. You can add a company, or select one from a company database, which is useful for invoicing if your guest is on a business trip. You can add a contact person and their information. You can add a market code, which is any label that you create, for example, weddings, VIP guests, etc. You can edit the reservation number, and you can also print or send a PDF of the confirmation, which looks like this. Below that, you can enter notes, which are also visible from the calendar. On the bottom half of the screen is the guest section, where you can first adjust the number of guests in the room. Now we can show you how to enter a guest into the system. If the guest is already in your database, the information about the guest will automatically be entered if you start to type, then click on that name. If they are not in the guest database, just press enter, or press the new guest button. You should make a note to be careful not to make multiple accounts for the same guest if the guest is already in your database. You can edit a guest's information, such as date of birth, contact, ID card details, address, etc. The blue button allows you to switch from one guest to another. You can also edit the guest category, which is synced with the guest's birthday. Designate a meal and check which taxes apply to your guest. 
At the bottom, you can easily enter all guest information using the fast check-in button, or delete the reservation using the button next to it. There is also a lock button, which locks the reservation so it can't be moved. Now let's go back to the reservation calendar to see our right-click options. You can perform some basic actions here. Edit will open the reservation, fast check-in to check them in. You can change the status of the reservation from option to confirmed, for example. You can lock the reservation. You can move or split the reservation in two. You can add a single reservation to a group. And you can change the reservation to one of our invisible designations. Cancel, no show, or completely delete it. That should be all for today. Thank you for joining us.